Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Hello. My name is Roman Sudarikov. Hello. And welcome to our channel. So right now we are in Kyoto, and we are going to Kyoto Station. It is very early right now. It is about. It is actually exactly 6 a.m. right now, and uh, we have quite big trip ahead of us. We are going to Komodo, Komodo Kodo, and we are going to be there three days and stay there two nights. And uh, my hands getting tired. Need to change my hand. <laughs> so <laughs> it's okay. So just briefly, what is uh, Kumano Kodo? Kumano Kodo is a, a pilgrimage site. It is a sacred site and also pilgrimage road located in the Wakayama Prefecture and Mie Prefecture. And if you have seen my previous videos about Koyasan, also Yoshino. I have been talking there about World Heritage Sites, so this one where we are going today is also the same World Heritage Site, it's just very, very large. And because it's very large, we're not going to hike all of it, but uh, actually a very, very small part. And because it's our, our first time, we basically decided to go first <laughs> right into the center of it and hike there for three days and uh, stay two nights. Uh, we are going to be also staying in the onsen, in the onsen town. and. Uh, yeah, there are going to be quite a lot of nature and uh, history from Japan. And, but now we actually have to hurry to the train because it's going to be about uh, four hours trip to get there first. So just a bit how we are going to get there. First we are going to Kyoto Station and uh, there we are taking Shinkansen to Shinosaka. Um, and in Shinosaka we have to change the, to Ocho train. From there we are going to uh, Ki -tan Ki -tan Tanabe, Ki -tanabe. <laughs> and uh, starting from there it's going to be a bus. And uh, the area is quite remote, so there is not much of uh, uh, trains or buses, so the schedule is quite tight. So if we get, kind of get late to any of our transportation, we have to wait like a one and a half hour to get to the next one. So we cannot be late today at all. We are almost on Kyoto Station. We have about 20 minutes before the train, but uh, we are in a hurry because uh, we don't want to be late. It was a short ride. The bullet train saved us only 10 minutes, but cost us about one half times more compared to other options we had. Still for us, it was worth every penny, because it gave us more time to film at the station. I really did not want to do just one minute train change, or alternatively, to leave home earlier as I filmed the vlog in the dark. Here, not everything went according to our plan. First of all, instead of filming, 
We spent the extra time we had looking for a correct ticket smashing. After coming out of those bullet train gates, we are still inside of the inner area behind the normal gates, where most of the wedding machines are outside. We were inside, so on a tight spot we could have just got on the train and bought the tickets from the conductor or even at arrival. Then the second thing we wish we knew was that buying all the tickets at once at Kyoto Station would have been cheaper than buying them separately. Unfortunately, we discovered that's only on our way back home. So if you are doing the same trip or just any other trip where you have to change trains, our advice, whenever possible, buy all the tickets right away at the first train station. We always do that, except this time, because we got first on the bullet train. It's my save you from having to run, and in some cases, it seems to be cheaper. Oh, yeah. ah, Next, we arrive at a relatively small Kitanabe station. Tanabe city is the second largest city of Wakayama Prefecture. Basically, we are already in the area where we are going to hike. Except that instead of multi-day hike from here, we would like to go first right into the middle. Tanabe is a place where a historical pilgrimage road turns from the coast into a mountains. Here at the station you can find an information center. There are things we wanted to get there, but because we knew that later we will visit a bigger one, for now we just bought the bus tickets. We still had some time before our bus tips, so we went to get drinks and some snacks for a ride. In total, we had less than 50 minutes at Kitanabe Station. But there was plenty of time to get done everything we wanted and get on the bus.
We have arrived at the heart of Kumano Kodo, one of the three main shrines of a pilgrimage road, Kumano Hongu Taisha, is just 100 meters away from us. This very model building you are seeing here is Kumano Hongu Heritage Center, or also known as Wakayama World Heritage Center. It is the best place if you are looking for information about Kumano Kodo. The journey here took us 5 hours, which for Kamo was a bit too much time spending on transport, and she got motion sickness on the bus. To recover from that, we took a break and went to get some food. Kano especially wanted to have some noodles. So we have arrived to uh, Kumano. Right now we are in front of uh, Kumano Hongu Daisha, and behind me is Kumano Hongu Heritage Site Center. And uh, we have been here already for a while, actually, over one hour. But when we arrived, we were quite tired. Uh, we needed to get some food, so we went right away to eat. And it was quite tough to get here because we had to change uh, traffic train once and then we also had to pass and we had very little time to get uh, tickets and so on and they also I had to film so it was a bit tough for us and can't even feel well so we need to bit of rest but anyway we are in the middle of uh, Kumano right now and um, it's only two, three day trip here so we cannot really explore all the routes but we will explore uh, the main area of uh, Kumano and um, first about uh, today's plan we are going first to get some um, pamphlets for the collective stamps in the um, heritage center. Afterwards we will go to visit um, Kumano uh, Hongo Daisha, which is just in front of me right at the moment, and uh, then we will ha have also to hike a bit, almost three kilometers. Uh, it's less than three kilometers, but uh, there will be also some walking probably in the city and so on. Uh, to the place we are going to stay the night is going to be an onsen and it's actually quite very famous one because there is also uh, oldest onsen here in Japan. Yeah, but uh, first we are going to get the uh, stamps. Before filming inside of the heritage center, I went there and asked for a permission. Still later, I managed to surprise some of the staff because not everyone knew about me coming to film. あ、はい、ちょうど あ、はい。あ、そうですか。つまり、あ、私たち考えていたのは、今日はここに湯飲みに行って、その後では次の日はここに行って、これを行こうと思っていたんですけど、でも今はそれはできなくなった。できないですね。はい。と、あ、じ
そしてこれも行く予定がありますけどそれではない場合は他はありませんか他はですねちょっとそのバスなどを使って行くようなコースもあるんですけどもちょっと長いですけどここの鳥越えとか。それは一日に行けるような一日ではできますが、はい、えっ、ー、と、まあ、ここまで歩いてきた後、またこちらの南アジアとかえっ、ー、と、トモロのは、その、ドロミネイドロミネイですかねそうすると、バスを利用してくださいね帰ってこれがいいのでアスジャサフ、プレフェルサムのスペクトチェンジスのプラン So far, コモノコード、ボソレモスフェルプリペアビフォーハンフロック Both of us, me and Khan, have been looking for information. Still, both of us completely missed the fact that one of the roads we wanted to hike is closer to the moment. We are so glad that we found about it now and not on the trail. The guide at the Kumuna Hongu Heritage Center helped us a lot, and we are very thankful for it. She was very kind to provide us with a vast timetable and all the other information we needed, which saved us a lot of time. Also, the new plans she suggested allowed us to have more fun, see more different scenery, and produce better content for our channel. I would say that it's made our trip more of an adventure, and I'm incredibly happy that it's went this way. Actually, this seems to be quite a good place to explain where we are exactly right now. It is a key peninsula. And at the moment, we are here at、uh, Kumano, Kumano Hongu Daisha. And、uh, what this is about is、uh, it's about a pilgrimage to three of those、uh, Shinto shrines Hongu Daisha, Hayatama Daisha, and also.、Uh, Nachi Daisha, and all three together called、uh, Kumano Sansan. And there is also a lot of different routes around to get here. So, for example, here one is、uh, from Koya san. My first video was actually from Koya san. Yeah, this is Koya san is here, and there is also Yoshino. So, and here is a route of, from Yoshino. And、uh, where What we are going to do during this trip, we will only hike in here in the middle part because all water roads are actually quite long and require quite many days of a hike. And、uh, from what I was just talking at the, at the information desk, I heard that this part here is actually closed and we were planning to hike that. So we cannot hike this one and we actually were planning to hike this one and this one. So we cannot hike this one, only this one. So instead of that, They suggested me to hike one of the first, just a small bit of from here or here. I need to check on the map exactly which one it is. So we kind of had a sudden change in our plans. So we are about to enter the Kumano Hongo Daisha. It seems like there is a lot of stairs waiting for us. And it's going to be our first visit. And we're going to visit right now, it's very shortly because we have to go to a place where we are going to stay the night as fast as we can. But we will first visit this shrine, then、uh, we will hike to the Onsen. And、uh, we are going to come here back and on our last day also, so we can explore that day a bit better. My hand is getting tired, but we are only halfway. To the top. <laughs> so, before entering the temple, everyone has to wash their hands. And it's only to wash their hands, but it also has a symbolic meaning to purify oneself、uh, from everything bad. And there is a special way how to do that. So, first, you take the water. And you have to pour the water on your left hand first, then on the right hand. Then you pour water in one way with your left hand and、uh, rinse your mouth. And after that, you rinse the bladder and the hands at the same time by lifting the bladder 
also in vertical position, likewise. to explain how to pray at the shrine. First of all, you have to use 5 and coin. It has opening in the middle. So first you throw it inside of the box. Then you uh, ring the bell. And after that, you bow twice. Then you clap twice. Then you pray and make a wish. And then you bow once again. And then you leave. So let me do that. There has been a lot of noise because we have been blowing leaves in the forest around the shrine. So I had to shoot this speech five times. The explanation you just hear was the correct one. There are four correct takes, but being in the hurry, the fifth one and the only full take, with praying being included, I messed up completely. So it also come because of my mistake. The correct order is the coin, bell, four bows, two claps, pray, one bow, and then you leave. We are sorry for messing this up. We have to go to the next place. So at the Heritage Centre we got two pamphlets for collecting the stamps. One is uh, just for this place, for Kumano, and the other one actually included two uh, places. One is uh, Kumano Kodo, where we are now, and the other one is Camino de, de Santiago, which is in Spain. And uh, why they are together is because there is only two World Heritage uh, pilgrimage routes in the world. One is Kumanga Kodo, the other one is uh, Camino de Santiago. And uh, we are at our first place to get the stamps. And uh, let me see where have I put that. So in this pamphlet it is number 18 for Kumano Hongo Taisha. Let me do it. Like that. So it's, here is the first one, and I will get the same one in the water pamphlet also. We are here right now. I'm not sure if we will be able to connect all of them right now, but I was thinking we should start anyway because we definitely not going to be the only trip for us to here. But first done and quite many to go. Mm, it's a simple 
ちょっと力が足りないみたい。うん。こんな感じ。ちょっと薄いわ。大丈夫。うん。綺麗。じゃあもう一つは、どこに。あ、こっちですね。えっと。力入れて。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは綺麗。これは
is was moved to its current location at the end of the 19th century because of a flood. The big gate itself is not old. It was built in 2000 to honor the deities of a place. So it didn't took us long to find the next camp place. And, uh, it is at a place where where old shrine was previously. Let's see. Get the stamp Need to check if it's the correct way. Top to the top. Yeah, it's, this one had more ink. And uh, the second one. So there is two sides of a book. One side is for Spain, one for the Japan. So yeah, let's put one here. I will not close that for gun, so she can also use that. And uh, there is also need to write the date, but uh, we will do that after we arrive to our hotel. Okay, done. Hey, Tajabu, あ、2 
So this road is, this road actually not so long, but it's quite steep. Okay, we have entered already in the forest and we are hiking road which is Dainichi Goe. It's a very short one, only two kilometers, and it goes from Hongu Daisha to Yonomine Onsen. It has about 250 meters of ascent and then about 100, yeah, 190 meters descent. Quite short one. But it's quite dark already and we have about one hour before it will be total dark. Tá bom, 
そうご山頂に着くと思う So it is completely dark already, so I have to use flashlight light to show you myself and also what is read here. So we came from here, Hongo Daisha. It is 3.3 kilometers. And we are going to Yungamine Onsen. There is uh, 100 meters left. But first we need to go to, where is it? Here, Yungamine Oji to get a stamp. It is very dark, but we try to get it there with a flashlight. We tried to get to a stamp, but there was very little ink, so we got to a stamp, but it's almost not visible. Okay. 
ってる It is time to end this day and we have arrived to our hotel and we are staying in the Yunamine Onsen. This is very famous onsen because it has the oldest uh, onsen in uh, Japan, which we also try to visit tomorrow. Uh, the hotel where we are staying is uh, G Hopper's Kumano Yunomine Guest House. Let me check if I say it right. Yeah, Kumano Yunomine Guest House. And uh, it's actually quite nice in my opinion because we have quite large room for us to here. It's a lot larger than the one we had in the Ohara, if you have seen that video. And uh, it's a guest house, so all the facilities are shared, but we also have a onsen. Two is inside and one is outside. We went together to the one which is inside, as because the outside one is always was a bit booked. Um, yeah, but a bit about our plans from now on. Uh, today the place which we hiked is a uh, Dainichi Goe and we are, we are planning to hike uh, Akagi Goe tomorrow and it's about uh, six and a half kilometers, not so long and we are trying to take things slowly because filming takes a lot of time and uh, if it says for example four hours here I should assume that I will use twice of the time because I cannot predict everything with my shooting but it is close so we need a new plan and I was suggested uh, at the Heritage Center to do other one which is um, Kogumotori Goe, it is uh, almost twice long, it is 12 kilometers long and there is going to be uh, 670 meters of accent also. It's a longer one, it's uh, quite easy to do in as a one day hike but with a filming it's, a, it's going to be harder. But I'm thinking right now that we will try to do that and uh, because of the timetable for bus we actually can leave one hour earlier if we will do that so it gives give us one hour more time so it might be very very possible so we will go with a bit harder than we were planning originally and uh, yeah tomorrow we actually we will wake up very very early I'm planning to go out around the sunrise time to shoot some time lapse from this area to make to get as much footage for the vlog as possible and also I'm carrying my drone on this trip so I would definitely would like to fly it somewhere here but I need time and possibility to fly it safely so I'm looking for a place where I can try it yeah and uh, before I end this vlog I also would like to show a bit of the room as uh, last time because you might be interested to see where we are staying just a bit it's a very simple room, as just can't say it, but uh, yeah, so it's quite large, it's larger than one we stayed previous time, and uh, in this area right now, I'm, I have to copy the pictures to the hard drives and charge my uh, all the batteries, so I made a lot of mess already here, but, and the West House is actually quite new, so the place is very, very new, actually. At least the room looks very new. Okay, it was already quite long explanation, and uh, uh, let's continue tomorrow, and uh, we will see what we will get tomorrow. We had some plans for this trip, but we are changing it a bit, but it's only better because it's more of an adventure. And uh, we have three days time, and we will see what we can get done in that time. Okay, but for now, we have to go sleep, so bye-bye and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oyasumi nasai.